Okay, good morning everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Happy Friday as usual. We are looking forward to a great Friday. Listen, I want to tell you guys something at the end of the video, so please watch to the end. Um, something I'm talking about, some gimmick I came up with, okay? So just so you know, three video Friday. I'll explain it at the end. It's not life and death. It's not super important. But if you want to uh, help me out, help my uh, channel out, that this is just a simple thing. I'm not going to ask a lot, and I'm not, certainly not going to ask you to send me any cash or anything like that. So don't worry about it. So, anyways, let's move on. <clears throat> I want to say this because I think a lot of us are in this place. I know I definitely am in this place where. Um, as life goes on, we're losing more and more hope at what we see in this world, even in our own physical bodies and the, our own physical situation, okay? Listen to this. 2 Corinthians 4 actually addresses the specific issue, and it says this. It says, therefore, we do not give up. Even though our outer person is being destroyed, our inner person is being renewed day by day. Okay, so he's saying basically, even though we're fall physically falling apart or we're being attacked physically, there are major, major uh, struggles that we face. He's saying we don't give up because what is happening inside of us, what God, the work that God's doing in our soul, in our spirit, um, through the work of his Holy Spirit, in our inner being that is actually giving us the drive to keep going day by day and not only that when we see not only that god's working in us but he's also working through us to encourage and to bless people around us all of that is something that god really uh or not that god i mean yeah god initiated but for us it's something that's really encouraging so we don't give up you know, even when things get bad, okay? I'm just saying that because more and more I, I'm running into people that are basically embracing the mindset of giving up. They're just like, oh, the, it's everything's ruined. You know, the, the world's going down. It's horrible. Well, I mean, a lot of bad things are happening. But it doesn't mean that it's as bad as we think just because we focus on only the bad things right we could get in a real negative mindset and we could get real discouraged we shouldn't do that notice what it says our momentary light affliction is producing for us an absolutely incomparable weight eternal weight of glory so he's saying look when he says momentary light affliction that those words are really minimizing, right? Probably some of you, even at hearing these verses, you've heard them before, but you're, you're probably saying, man, you don't know what I'm going through. Well, you have to understand what the Apostle Paul here is actually communicating. What he's saying is, understand that what we're facing is temporary, right? And because of it, the temporary nature of it, it removes uh, the difficulty of it. Listen, when you start to, like, let's say, for example, I, I get the uh, news that I'm facing some sort of terminal illness, right? Well, I, I would look at that in this light. Well, it's, if this terminal, if there's this terminal illness that I'm facing, the time is only going to be for so long, and then I'll be beyond it right? Because I'm going to pass away and then I'm going to be with the Lord. That's the thing. It's temporary. Our life here is temporary. As a matter, as a matter of fact, it's a moment, right? According to the scripture, it's life is like a vapor. It comes and it goes, right? So it's momentary because of the temporary nature of it. The, the difficulty of it is light. In light of you know, an eternal consequence for abandoning uh, truth and walking in wickedness, that is a heavy, difficult um, judgment that people face. This is saying, understand, what we're facing in this world, this is the worst of it, right? So take heart, face it with courage, 
face face it with boldness because this is going to be the worst of it the day is going to come when our life is going to be done here on this earth every one of us we know this we live with this reality so he says um, but besides that from this difficulties that we face we're we're getting as he says an absolutely incomparable eternal way of glory okay there's something that comes with this there's uh through the difficulties and the sufferings we face uh, we get to basically receive this weight of glory and honestly like when i think about this i even wonder exactly what that's referring to I have a, a general sense of it, but the exact sense, I think we're only going to know when we're there in heaven. And then he says this in the very interesting verse 18. So we do not focus on what is seen, but what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. This body is a temporary thing. My spirit, that's eternal. We all live with this reality that we have... Oh, look, it's Friday, so it's street sweeping day. Um, we live with this reality that we have uh, this eternal aspect of our life. I'm sure that's not distracting, right? Hope. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's too loud. Okay, we, we live with this eternal aspect of our life. You know, I was thinking about this reality the other day. When we were talking about the universe basically being destroyed, when you look at that at the end of the book of Revelation, molecules, God, you know, destroying molecules or, or whatever. I mean, I thought everything we look at is temporary. How, how could we trust in molecules? How could we trust in you know, uh, proteins and bacteria to survive indefinitely. We can't. Everybody understands this, right? We know it. We live with that reality. We could not do that. Yet, I think a lot of people do. They, they don't think that there's ever going to be an end to all of this. There's just this assumption that the molecules that exist are just going to be there. The stuff around us, it might change, but it's going to be there, right? It's going to be there. Well, no, it's not going to be there forever. God's going to destroy it and make it again, right? But he has the authority to do that. He can do that. He chooses to not destroy us. He chooses not to just end our existence completely. He chooses he has chosen, basically, to give us eternal life. That is something. You know, could you imagine if you could buy a vehicle? And the, the people that said, hey, we made this vehicle so good. These molecules, every molecule here will never change. This thing is going to keep, it's going to keep existing the way it is without ever changing it won't break it won't stop running it won't fade nothing it's impervious people would line up for it we're all sick of car problems we're all sick of you know coming out and having scratches on our car or something like that you know well god has given us eternal life we look into the basically uh the future our future of life with God in eternity. And look, when we can re be reminded about that, it helps us through the temporary things that we're facing, the temporary difficulties, the hardness, the hardship, all of these things now. Okay, that's basically what he's saying here in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 at the end of the chapter. So I hope that encourages you today. Thank you so much for watching this. Listen, this is my gimmick, okay? People often ask, hey, what can I do to support the channel? Or what can I do to help you out? Okay, this one thing, today, okay, if you watch this video, 
take some time. I'm calling it three video Friday. It's kind of a, a silly thing. And I actually even feel silly mentioning it, but I thought about it earlier and I was like, Hey, eh, it might be worth a shot. After this video, you're going to see a little thing that shows up at the screen that, of other videos I've done. Please just click on one of those and watch it. Do that for a couple or three. That's why I'm saying three video Fridays. Most of my videos are about 10 minutes long, but some of them are as short as four or five minutes. And I'm just telling you, that is how you're going to help me just by watching a few of my videos. Okay. And listen, I don't, I don't take that lightly. I think your time is very valuable and I appreciate everybody that watches any of my videos. I, it actually amazes me that anybody does honestly, but, um, if you if you want to help me out that's just the one thing you could do watch a few of my videos today you know take some time you know 20 or 30 minutes and just click through it'll give you things to think about too biblical things scriptural things i'm sure the lord will minister to you through it and it will that will help me it may not seem like it but it will so may the lord richly bless you thank you so much i will see you on monday god bless